If your 9 to 5 job, freelance work or even business is not fulfilling to you, is it not because you are not meant for it? Think about it. The true soldier fights not because he hates what's in front of him, but because he loves what's behind him. Have you not become an animal in the zoo? A tamed lion behind glass? While you have the choice to live in nature, in accordance with your nature. I quit my job and dropped out of university to pursue my passion. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over four million dollars in revenue without a nine to five job. I had over 50 people and started making videos on YouTube in 2012. I would say that is one of my passion. And currently I'm growing my personal brand through writing, art and film, which will help me remove the need for money and not waste time. I see it as hitting two birds with one stone, whereas before I was just hitting one stone, I was only focused on removing the need for money. Whereas right now, understanding about my own life, self-mastery is one of the other birds that I would say I was missing in my job, I was missing in the business, I was missing in my daily existence. But maybe after hearing this, excuses come up or let's not judge them as excuses let's just say thoughts arise that maybe say something like oh, oh he doesn't have a family he doesn't have as much as responsibility as i have therefore i should blah 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 let's recognize this voice for what it is it's the same voice as the one that tells you to eat chips or snooze your alarm even though you don't want it control your thoughts or they will control you i am not my thoughts you are not your thoughts. You are something far more powerful than your thoughts. Within you, there's a sacred birthright to experience the fullness that this life has to offer you. And if your job, if your work, if your daily existence is not giving you that joy, then you're not living. But I have to say, the one that is loving his work and his work gives him joy or her well that person isn't working right the one who loves his work is living he's playing he's living proof that you can live life and what is the truth that those people are out there and that you could be one of them think about it so i'm asking you if your job or business or just way of life has not given you this joy then are you really living life there are no easy answers, but the inquiry itself is the spark that can finally lead you to inhale new life into your lungs. Whether future you will live a minimalistic life with only the essential needs, or she makes millions of dollars living a life of luxury. Regardless, he is using his finite time for an infinite amount of joy, passion and fulfillment. Money is no longer a chain, it just merely is now a tool to waste even less time. This person is not exchanging his time for money, nor for Gucci shoes so he appears to be higher status, nor in exchange for the happy family that lives in a dream house, drives the sports car and all that stuff. He finally lives life for himself, for his internal drive, the thing that he cannot stop thinking about, the thing he ignored for so many years. That thing is still here. It may be in a box in the corner of your room or even locked up in a safety box in the basement. It is still here. I found this quote from Nicholas Parks. The saddest people I've ever met in my life are the ones who don't care deeply about anything at all. Passion and satisfaction go hand in hand and without them any happiness is only temporary because there's nothing to make it last. The real luxury in life is using your freedom to pursue the thing you cannot stop thinking about. Let me say that again. The real luxury in life is using your freedom to pursue the thing you cannot stop thinking about. Not the thing that you feel stressed about right now or maybe a bit excited about. Oh, but what is really that thing when you think about your future, when you think about who you can become, what is that thing? And what is holding you back from pursuing that thing? I mean, I can't know, I, I can't look in your heart. So maybe a better question is what's holding most people back from pursuing that thing? Money, fear, security, or the perception they will have less security if they pursue that? Why trade your freedom for security? my friend even a deluded sense of security because what does that really mean will you if you lose your designer clothes your car your job your house will you die i mean as long as you not die, then really what is there to lose you may think about that because 
those things that maybe come up do you really care about them i'm not sure you you have to answer that for yourself but it might be that you care about those things more than your freedom your freedom to pursue that thing could it be that you are attached to all of this nonsense in your life and therefore you can't see reality do you really want to compromise the essence of your life force just so you can earn money to buy stuff you probably don't need even if you have a family you feel responsible for why don't you find a way to make it happen why did you settle? Why did you decide to walk into the zoo, stay there and have other people pay you to stay trapped behind the glass? I pay any amount to not be in to money. I found this quote from Casanova, be the flame, not the moth. And nature created me as one out of one. Same for you. We have unique talents. I can do things that I could have never imagined myself doing. I hold extraordinary capabilities inside of me that the world is waiting for me to show. You know why? Because artists are rare. There are so few of them. There are so few pure creators. And there are so few people honest with themselves. Self-honesty is your only savior. Self-honesty helps you find it, what you are chosen to do, your true calling in life, your birthright, your mastery. So my question to you, when you imagine your future self, what feels utterly unimaginable for you to not become? What is simply impossible to you? What feels impossible that you cannot become? If I looked you in the eye right now, and I would see in those eyes that burning desire to decide, to start pursuing that thing, I would maybe drop a tear, and it would not be a sad tear, would be a tear of joy because you decided decided to find a way to make it happen decided to walk out of that zoo regardless of how long the road may be regardless of how many animals along the way would tell you no or try to push you back and maybe even attack you you will keep walking with scars or not because you have decided there's no way back that's enough to make it happen that's the moment when you stop wasting your life that's the moment when you start living may you start living my friend here's my poem about the essence of this video you are a lion but stuck in a nine to five a career a freelance or own business to keep you alive but weren't you meant for more outside the zoo instead of being tamed behind the glass by the gatekeeper's crew what is it that you can't stop thinking about what is that thing that you can become without a doubt passion deep in your heart that thing you would choose to follow if you could restart if i could look you deep in the eyes what would they tell me what would we see a cat or a lion will it truly be the may you decide to look for that joy that passion instead of just following money and never finding that satisfaction by the way if you want to find the truth in a specific situation in your own life but you can't really seem to find it you can always email me and don't worry i won't ask you for money but I will only reply to serious people. So if you're unserious, please don't do that. And you know if you're unserious, if you feel spoken to, talk soon.